folks, here we are back with Fire Emblem Fates Conquest again, continuing our casual playthrough of it. And before we continue, there's some stuff that I need to do. Uh, let's see, we recently got more units. In the last chapter, Elise, Silas, Arthur, and Effie joined us, so that's a total of four people who joined. Um, one second. go. I had to fix that for a second. Yes. Trying to reduce as much lag as possible. Okay, um, let's see. Silas, Arthur, Effie, Elise. Is there we need a to plan? Learn. Yes, Jacob, there is a plan. We need to learn some skills. I have plenty of money to learn the skills. Again, this is a casual playthrough. Some people don't agree with, I don't know, I guess the ethics of learning skills like this early on, but some people consider it cheating, even though I don't really consider it to be cheating because of the fact that it's a feature in the game, but I don't know, I'm not going to try and make excuses for it. I'm just playing to have fun at this point. Aptitude is a very, very important skill that you're going to want to learn early on if possible, simply because of what it does. It adds 10% to each stat's odds of increasing at level up, which is highly valuable to have since it helps you hit those stat caps sooner. Did we learn all of Jake? Yeah, we got all of Jacob's skills. More of Effie's skills. Uh, Elise. I know I have another Arthur in here somewhere. All these units are recruited units from, well, rather, Iron Yard units from castles that I visited. Other players' castles, rather. Laszlo. Silas. Arthur, another Arthur. And do I have any more? Take a Linter, so. Okay, we should be good. Now to equip these skills. Elise, since Elise is a healer, I want her to have... Uh, she doesn't need to live to serve. She doesn't need Rend Heaven yet, because since she's just a troubadour, she cannot attack. Probably gonna class change her into a cleric when I get the chance. Silas. Silas could do. No, he doesn't need bow fair. He doesn't use a bow, so. Air superiority, no. Death blow, yes. Definitely okay. Aptitude, we want to give him. He deals plus four damage when initiating combat. Okay, um. Luna. His skill isn't that high, so. I. want to take Luna out for now. I'll probably add it back in later. I'm gonna give him. Uh. Amaterasu. Arthur. I was never really fond of the fighter class, so we're gonna give him renewal. Let's do lucky seven. So 
all luck. He, even though he could use luck, definitely. But uh, what else? And blow a sword fair, Astra. Movement. He's going to need movement. Prioritize that. I don't know, his skill set isn't really that high to justify using Saul at the moment. Whatever, I'll just leave it there for now. Effie. I need to change Effie's class as soon as possible because I cannot stand night units. I cannot stand them. Their movement speed is too... way too low. Vice Aegis, okay. Uh, Vice Aegis, no. Hmm. What am I gonna, you know what? Take out Aegis for now, give her aptitude. Is there anyone else I'm missing? No, should be it. Effie, let's see, can we class change her because I don't want her as a knight, I do not work with knight units all that very well. No, I don't want her to be a troubadour. Do we have any friendship seals? friends with somebody. First, let's optimize these folks. Optimize, optimize, optimize. Sorry if I'm rambling here. Um, yeah, I'll have to make her friends with somebody. Somebody like... You know what? I'll make her friends with Silas at some point. That should work out pretty well. Okay. First things first. Please to be of service. Before advancing to chapter eight, we are going to do paralog one. Paralog one. Cranberry receives a report that a nearby village is under attack by Faceless. The group rushed to the village and with the hope that they will be able to save the victims. Paralogs are basically... No, I'm not going to explain because, yeah. You'll see, you'll see. I'll explain it after the fact. Okay, someone's in trouble and we need to rescue them. Take a once over of our map first of all. Alright, we have some. the farm. Be torn up. And who do we have here? We have Mozu. He's a villager. He's very frail and weak. Stats are pretty low. She's not gonna last long. Got to get to her first. Uh, who are you recruiting? Select units. You know what? Okay, that works. Yeah, we'll we'll take Ike along.
enemy. Okay. There's a the layout of our map. We're in the upper right corner where the blue marker is. The boss is over there radiating to the far upper left with that red. That little green dot in that bunch of trees at the bottom of the map is where Mozu is. We need to get over to her as fast as possible. First things first, put that up so I know who can move where. Alright, Ike. Let's see, do I want... Mm, we'll start having him work his way down. Got to re-enable comment animations. Here we go. Oh, that's right. I forgot to replicate her too. Okay. Well, I'll do that in the next phase. Pretty sure I had an Arthur that knew replicate, but I'll find out after the fact. I like how male corn just wields a tome as if it were a sword. You come down here. I believe in you. Let me try. Right, you go down there. Let's go here. Okay, this one's a replica. Okay, got it. We get Arthur some EXP here. You're out of luck, friend. I'm surprised that Saul actually brought. Heroism indeed. Yeah, that was kind of shocking because, in case you haven't noticed, all these particular characters have certain gimmicks, or I shouldn't say gimmicks, more like personality traits. Arthur's whole thing is that he's extremely unlucky. Ah. 
Ike showing off the skills that he learned in Smash Brothers. In fact, now that I think about it, I kind of want to go back and actually play my copies of Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn again at some point. Maybe I'll do a let's play at that at some point. Uh, okay. These will send you here. Heal up Silas. And... Hmm. I'll just take him out. Guess I was stronger. Silas has replicate. How about that? That works out rather nice. And you guys up here. superhero thing going on. Right there. Walk you up here. Can I reach her? Yes, I can. Are you okay? <sighs> I'm here to help. <sighs> I'm so sorry. We have Mozu on our side. Mozu is a very valuable unit to have. Just like Donald in Fire Emblem Awakening, who was also a villager. Villagers, they're extremely weak. However, they have the greatest potential for growth. So I'm going to try to foster that Mozu. zero damage. How about that? Ah, <laughs> uh, Silas, 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 Silas. Here I am. We're not 
now that gives Elise an excuse to heal her. So Elise gets some EXP. Effie and Jacob. Okay, where's Silas? There's Silas. Switch. And... Bring Ike up to the forefront. Get ready to deal with the boss here. These guys are moving north. At least some of them are anyway. Uh Mozu. She get her some EXP. We got this! Let me try! You're strong. Should end it. Completed Heroes, Cranberry, and Silas. Alright! Um. Huh? Huh? 
Yes. I'll do my best. Before I close out this chapter, this paralogue rather, huh? oh, fairies, how about that? Always have a use for those. But yeah, that's basically a paralogue. How a paralogue works is, it's just a side chapter, I guess you might say, and you have the opportunity to recruit a new unit upon completing it. Um, let's see. I was going to check out Arthur to check out his... Huh. I could have sworn... I have an Arthur in here somewhere. I just want to make doubly sure. Arthur, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Make life and death. Replicate. There we go. Alright, thank you again for joining me um, in another episode of Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.